hello guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial so today's tutorial is going to be on how to draft a three-part corset bustier pattern it's easy and simple and it's beginners friendly so if this is your first time of visiting my channel you are welcome please if you want to be part of this amazing family don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So I would like to thank my returning subscribers for always on point to watch my videos. And thank you for everything, your comments. If you have anything to ask me, feel free to drop down the comment section below. I'm ever ready to answer you. So let's get right into the video. If this is what you like to learn, Please stay tuned to the end of the video. So let's get started. So as you can see on the table, to draft this corset pattern, you need to draft your basic bodies. So as you can see, I have a paper here, which I mark my lines this is the shoulder line, this is the bust line, this is the under bust, this is the waist line, and then this is the hem line. So as you can see, this shoulder line serves as our starting point. That's our vertical measurement. And from this side, is our horizontal measurement. This line here in the center front is where our horizontal measurement will be starting from. So as you can see, I marked half of my shoulder measurement which is eight and a half my shoulder is 17 inches and half of 17 inches is eight and a half inches then i came down on the shoulder point by one inch that's for the shoulder slope because our shoulders are not straight and also i took three by three inches for the neck width and the neck depth that's a standard for the neck line and then from the shoulder to the bust point i took 12 inches and the shoulder to the under bust is 15 and a half inches. The shoulder to the waist is 18 inches. And I added two inches sewing allowance. You can add half inch, one inch, whatever you like. I, add, I like to add more inches so that there will be no shortage after joining my pieces. So the next thing to do now is to create our armhole. So you can see I marked half of my bust pan, which is nine inches divided by two is four and a half. Your bust pan is the measurement from one nipple to the other. So I mark four and a half inches to the hemline. So the next thing to do is to create an armhole. And to do that, you need your armhole line. And to get your armhole line, you divide your bust measurement by six. And whatever you get, you add one and a half inch. So by doing that, I got eight and a half inches, which I mark here. I'll measure from here to be at the safer. And so this is where it ends. I'm going to connect it with a straight line like so. Then I'm going to mark a line across this eight and a half inches. And this line now is our chest line or the upper bust line. So when you are cutting it on a fabric, it should be on fold. This one should be on fold. So the next thing to do is to create the armhole cap. And to do that, you need your bust circumference divided by four. And the bust circumference I'm using is 43 inches divided by four is 10.75, which I mark here. The next thing is to measure what you have on this line and divide it by two. So I have eight and a half divided by two is 4.2. So I mark 4.2 here. And then you come in by half an inch for the front armhole curve. So the next thing to do is to create your armhole curve. So to do that, I'm using my straight side of the ruler from this shoulder slope point so this half inch, then I connect it with a curved line to meet the both points I mark here. So what to do next is to come to the shoulder slope. Whatever you have on your shoulder slope, 
you divide it by two, you find the midpoint of your shoulder slope, which is 2.75, which I mark here. Then you are going to connect straight to the first line. So to create a radius for your corset, I'll place my measuring tape on the first point here. This is our first point. And then measure what I have between the bust point and the under bust, which is three and a half. And I'm going to place the tape on the bust point and to rotate the three and a half inches all around to get a circle as a guide to create the caps for your corset. So I'm going to do just that. So guys, this is our circle. Our circle is formed. The next thing to do is to use my marker to deepen the line for you guys to see the markings well. So guys, our circle is formed. So the next thing to do is to create our dart. And to do that, I'm taking two inches for under the bust dart. And I'm going to divide it on each side of the line, the dart line. I'm going to mark one inch on both sides and on the waist I'm taking two inches also like this one inch on both sides and I'll be extending it to the hemline one inch on both sides and the next thing to do is to connect the points with my straight ruler so on the first point here you come down by one inch then you connect from this one inch to under the bust with a curved ruler and then you do the same thing to the other side like this now to create the upper bust that whatever you have here two inches i'll be extending it up on the bust side here and what i'm going to do i'm going to mark 0 0.75 on the side towards the center front and on the other side i'll be marking 1.25 then to avoid gaping on the bust i'll add 0 0.2 and then 0 0.2 inch on both sides to avoid gaping so this is it so the next thing is to connect from this point to the bust point and also from this side also to the bust point it's a curve ruler so on this side you can choose to go up by half an inch or you can choose to go up by one inch or you can choose to come down by half an inch depending on how much cleavage you want to show so i'm leaving it on this point i'm not going to take it off or take it down you are going to blend so that not to have pointy edges so the next thing to do now is to create the space in between the caps that's your bust the space in between the corset so to do that come down half an inch to come down half an inch or one inch depend on you or if you want to go up depending on how you want your cleavage to show so i'll be coming down half an inch on the chest line half an inch down and then i'll go in by half an inch again and mark a straight line like this from this half an inch i'll be connecting it with a curve to the under bust to form the center side breast cap why i'm using the red marker is to differentiate between the curves and the round circle here and then on this side to create your neck line you connect with your curve ruler like this to meet this half point here and then this side of the cap is ready now on this side our bust is fuller on the side than on this side so to do that you find the midpoint of this line so the midpoint is 1.1 here then you come down by half an inch then on this half an inch you are going to connect the line outwardly like this creating a new chest line so now to create this side cup, you are going to place your cap ruler like this on this half inch down and connect it to the under bust 
blind. You see, this is our second cup. You see how beautiful it looks. So we are going to connect also from here to this half inch. So this is it. So now we get the two caps. Now we are going to create the third part because we are creating three parts corset posterior. So now we've created the two parts of the cups. Then we are going to create the third part. To do that, on this side you come, you measure two inches, and on the center here you measure two and a half inches because this side is higher than this side. You mark two and a half inches here, and here you mark two and a half inches here. And when you come here, you mark two inches here. So let me do just that. Yeah, we are going to connect the points. We are going to connect one, two, three, four. These four points, we are going to connect it like this to form our third part of the cap. And then on this middle, you blend it. You see how our cap is formed nicely? So you blend this center in like so. This is our one, two, three. This is the two parts, and then this is the third one, which we are going to be joining these two together. After cutting it, we are going to join it together to form one single piece for the third cup. So the next thing to do now is to impute our horizontal measurements. So our bust divided by four, the bust is 43 inches, divided by four is 10.75 which is here that are marked already and then you measure what you have in between the dots here which is two and a half you place it there you place it here two and a half and then coming to the waistline the waist is 38 inches divided by four is 9.5 so you impute 9.5 here plus the two inches that intake here you add and then you do the same thing here on the hemline, nine and a half inches, then two inches for the dart intake. So the next thing to do is to connect the lines. So I'm connecting from the chest line, which is also our boss liner. So there's no need marking on the boss line too. So from the chest line, you connect straight to the hemline. And then the next thing to do is to add two, two inch sewing allowance so I add two inch to the bust and two inches also to the waistline and then two inches and I'll connect the allowance so guys you see our front corset is ready so what I'm going to do now is to add half an inch on the shoulder slope for joining allowance so guys how do you see it so the next thing to do now is to create the back piece before cutting the corset. So guys, this is our back pattern and I already drew out the lines. I follow the lines here. This is our boss point. This is our waistline and then this is the hemline. And I drew out the shoulder line. I marked half of the shoulder measurement and then I, I mark one and a half inch for the zipper allowance on the side here this is the back and this is the center back this way you are going to fix your zip or if you want to put the uh, loops it's different so you know how to manipulate it when you are ready to cut your back so I mark half of the shoulder measurement which is eight and a half inches and I came down by one inch for the shoulder slope and I mark three inches by one and a half inches for the back. You can mark one inch if you want. So I came down one and a half inch for the back neck depth. So I connect the shoulder slope and I mark the bust point which is 12 inches. The waist is 18 inches and two inches for the hem. At the back piece, you don't need the under bust measurement. So the back is very simple to dress. So now to create our armhole, you need your armhole line. And to do that, as I said in the first video, you divide your bust measurement by six, and then you add 1.5. By doing that, I got eight and a half inches. So it's here. Let me measure from here. All our measurements is starting from this line. 
So let me measure from here to make sure that I get eight and a half inches to connect the armhole line. So this is my eight and a half inches. Then I connect my armhole line. And I'm going to extend this line outwardly, which now serves as my chest line. So this is our chest line or the upper bust line. This is the bust point. This is the waistline and this is the hemline. So what I'll do now is to mark quarter of my bust measurement, which is 10.75. And then to create the armhole, you'll find the midpoint of this line here, which is eight and a half, and then the midpoint is 4.2. That's for the back armhole. And then you connect from this center point to this point. So the next thing to do is to create our dart. And to do that, you need your nipple to nipple measurement, which is four and a half. My nipple to nipple measurement is nine inches divided by two is four and a half. So I mark four and a half on the bust line, the waist line, and then the hem line. So on the chest line, I'll mark also four and a half inches as shown. Then I'll connect the line straight. So on the chest line, to create our dart, you come down by one inch. And then on the waistline, you take half an inch on both sides, which is one inch for the dart. And then you connect from here, from this one inch straight to the hem line. Then you go on this side. So you see the back is very simple. Very, very simple. So the next thing to do now is to impute our horizontal measurement. I've already marked the boss measurement. Now the waist measurement, 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. Then whatever I took here for the dart, which is 1 inch, I replace it here. And I add 2 inches for the sewing allowance as I did on the front pattern. Then I'll connect line. And then the two inches allowance. You see, the back is very simple to create. So on the shoulder slope, I'll mark half half inch for joining allowance. Then connect it with my straight ruler. So guys, this is our back pattern for the corset. So on this chest line, as you can see on the front pattern, I came down half an inch here to create a new chest line. So at the back, I will be coming down half an inch to create a new chest line at the back. Hope you understand me guys. Just follow what I'm doing, you will you'll get everything perfect. So this is it. Now to eliminate our zipper bulging, you go to the waist line and go in by half an inch and then on this side, you also go in half an inch and then you connect it to the chest line here. And then you connect from this second point to the chest line. So this is it to eliminate the zipper bulging at the back. Guys, let's not forget, on this chest line, you can choose to leave it straight as it is. But I decide to come down by half an inch. Then you use your curved ruler to connect to have a nice curved back. So oh guys, the back is ready. This is the yoke and this is the yoke for the front. In case you don't want to add yoke, you just use it as it is the posterior tube like this. And you call the back also the same. But in case you want to use yoke, you add your yoke. So guys, this is our front piece and this is our back piece. So you label this cap, you label the side one and then two and then you put the arrow showing up and then the arrow showing down. So that when joining it will be easy to join. And here also you put the arrow showing down and then the arrow going up here. And then this side you can write A and then B, A1, B2. And then you mark with the arrow going up and then this side facing each other like so. 
and then this also facing each other and then this going up so when you are joining do not be confused with the markings so now it's time to cut out the pieces So this is it. Then the next thing to do is to cut out the third piece half. So this is our front piece. So what I'll be doing now is to take another fresh paper, pattern paper, and then join these two together like so and cut it on the new fresh pattern paper. So this is it guys, this is our front piece. So if you don't need the yoke, you want to sew it just a strapless top or tube top, you remove your yoke and then this is how it looks. And if you want the yoke, then you add your yoke. So let's go to the back panel. Let's cut the back. So the next thing is to cut out the yoke. This is the yoke for the back. So the next thing to do is to open the dart. Our back piece is ready. If you want a yoke, you add it. If you don't want the yoke, you leave the back, you remove the back, uh, the yoke out. If you want to use loops, you can take two inches from this green line not this zipper bulging line the green line you take two inches or whatever you want to take three inches and mark it down and cut it out if you don't want zip so this is our back piece so this is the front piece and this is the back piece without the yoke so i'll go ahead and cut it on my fabric and come and show you how it looks so guys i've gone ahead and cut out all the pieces with my fabric. I'm using this black fabric. So this is the end of today's video. The sewing tutorial will be uploaded very soon. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.